Our guest is. I'm so glad this guy's here, man, Me because too. I'm I'm fired up about your situation. Uh, Shane Gillis, great comedian. Yeah, thank hey, you. Shane, welcome. And, uh, hey, you know, first of all, in the news, so, I mean, it's just amazing how the world fucking operates now. So it, it seems like this happened so long ago because people talk about it a lot. But you, uh, you know, you get a gig as a regular on Saturday Night Live. You, you find that way. They announced it like September the 12th or something like that, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. Of this past year. So a couple yeah. of months ago. Yeah. I, I was I was in uh, I just got out of rehab when this happened. What am I on my rehab fucking tour? And uh, and that's one of the first things someone told me was was your situation. And it just is it's so it's just fucking infuriating. So they hire you, and then mm -hmm. some some jerk off, mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's what he is a jerk off. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Like I mean I don't know who this person is, but these people have nothing you, you else to do. You may never know Shane because it's fucking asshole. Well, you bitch. know, probably you know. Now I mean it's like we know who the whistleblower is. Shane knows his whistleblower. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, you, you, he finds you, like, from years back. On uh, a, one year. One year. Yeah. I and mean, that's enough. You know, I mean, the, the world, nowadays, that's like 10 fucking years. Uh, especially, you know, people talk all the time. Everybody's got some stupid show. Yeah. Like this one. And, uh, and, and he finds, what exactly, like, walk me through, what exactly happened? Uh, you get the gig on the, SNL. Yeah, like go start from that, and that's amazing. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. I, I, the whole time I was like, because I knew I had this podcast, right? And they don't really like, they don't really check, they don't really deep dive on podcasts because first off, they're not hiring many stand ups, right? And like improv kids don't have, yeah, podcasts. They don't, right? Exactly. Uh, so you, are you, were you ever an improv guy or sketches? No. You were just straight stand up. No, I mean, yeah, he I've, didn't do that a lot. Like back in the day, I guess. You know, Norm was and Spade and guys yeah. like that, but he did like sketch guys, obviously. Yeah, I, I've done some like filmed sketch. Like, right. I've, done, I've been I've a few sketches, but no, never improv or anything like that, just stand up. And uh, yeah, they, they were like NBC's publicists the day before <laughs> they announced it. We're like, we're going to, you know, get ready. They're going to do a deep dive on you tomorrow when we announce this. Whoa. And I was like, what, by they meaning just like everybody, the, the, just the media's got like social media, just any asshole. That's yeah. the thing. It doesn't have to be Woodward and Bernstein now. It could yeah. be some asshole in his basement and in also, Indiana. And also, that's what they do now. Like if they introduce a deep a, dive, yeah, uh, if, uh, yeah. If, if you get introduced to the public, right, the first thing everyone does is go through everything you've ever exactly. said. Exactly. And see if they can find something fucked up. Right. And with me, it wasn't that hard. Like, it was kind of <laughs> yeah, <but I> mean, <laughs> the so, first search. So so you find that you get SNL one day. Yeah. And then, like, two days later, they, this, they announce it. They, this deep dive happens. Yeah, it was one Who, day. And so, one day. One day. I got uh, Well, first off, I got the news on 9-11. Well, <laughs> <laughs> kind of makes sense. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I got the phone call that, you know, I was going to be cast on. And I, w I knew I was going to get something. I figured it was writing. Right. I well, that's what a lot of stand-ups feel like. Like back in the day, for a year and right, then get right, used right. to the the studio and shit like that. Yeah. But now they they just wanted to go straight to cast and uh, we like a featured player. Yeah. Oh, okay. So now yeah. like, whatever. There's like 50 sure. people yes. on there. Now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Um, and it's a big deal, man. Especially getting a scout. Like I, I, I was on the original Mad TV cast. Yeah. And there was only eight of us, and uh, you know, doing that. But about, uh, by then, there was like at least twenty people on SNL. But uh, you know, to get a sketch comedy show, that's a you know, it's it's hard to do. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it definitely shows that you know you, you're respected comedically and as a writer, without question. And and so. T tell me exactly what this kid. So, who found it? Who was this person? Uh, his name is Seth Simons. Seth Simons. What is he? Does he have an axe to grind with you, or just? Uh, no, I don't think he has a problem with me. But he's like a. <laughs> he does now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he's like a. You know, he's a. So he's big into like social justice and like. <laughs> he's he a blogger a, guy, like one of those blogger type guys. Yeah, he's a writer. He's a blogger writer. Oh, he sounds he's like a, an he's asshole. A poet. He's a poet. Oh, oh no. what an asshole! He's a poet. He does have some poetry on YouTube. <laughs> Which uh, is I like uh, can you imagine should, me trapped in an no, elevator with that asshole? Yeah, but Shane, uh, they should uh, fucking melt him down and see what he has online. Well, uh, well that's deleted, the thing. Guys like that he deleted are like, uh, like seven thousand tweets. They did, <laughs> they did find that. Is that true? Well, yeah, 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 but he's yeah. not on set. What the fuck does he have to lose? No, his poetry he fucking could, gig. He could literally have tweeted the n word for five years straight, and I, I, would, think, I would be like, "Yeah, get him a job. I don't care." Yeah, like, that's I'm right. Who gives a shit? Exactly. It's collective outrage. People have too much fucking time on their hands. So, so this kid just—how does he present it? He just tweets hey look uh, hey look look at yeah, me see he did he was like something along the lines of like because you know they hired a, a kid named bowen yang 
who was like the first Asian guy they had really ever really hired well, in a long time. Right. And he was like, they hired him, which is great, but they also hired this guy. And it was a clip of me saying, What awful <laughs> luck that the first Asian guy I know, and that you. Was, that was rough. <laughs> but <laughs> to be honest, if, it, if they had, you know, got like a Hispanic guy or a Jewish guy Did or something, you, I would have had a clip for that. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I would have had a clip for that. This is what I really respect about you because you, the, the thing you tweeted out was, listen, I'm a comic. I tried out a lot of shit. Yeah. Which is getting, which bring me back to my point. Like, look, you're probably going to find that I've had some misses out there yeah, 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 that yeah, I'm yeah. not proud of and some hits that I'm proud of that, that might be offensive to some fucking people. Yeah. It's fucking comedy. I know. So, yeah. so, so this kid presents this on Twitter and says, look what happened. And, and what yeah. happened? So, so then well, there's a, a whirlwind thing. I got a call from my agent because I was on my way to do shows. Who's your night. agent? Uh, her. It was with UTA. But oh, UTA. Okay. They have since dropped me. That's unfucking uh, real. Yeah, they kept Jesse Smollett, by the way. And ah, uh, whoa, uh, I, I, nah, I, yeah. what a bunch of pussies! Well, no, nah, they're, they're good people. Yeah, but, right. Uh, I was at UTA too. Yeah, a couple of times. I mean, like, whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. It's yeah. still business. I knew it was the whole time. It's a business, but still have some. Go ahead. Nah, that would just make you mad. You can't expect anybody to have like a fucking spine. No. Yeah, but yes, you no, can. No, yes, I, you I just, can. Well, all right. You, you could does. hope for it, but you can't expect it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, now, yeah, I mean, maybe you can ex- Maybe there might be somebody out there who expect. Yeah, maybe you'll be, do the fucking right thing. I, yeah, I know, but. The, so, so you get a call from UTA. I get a call from my agent, and it's like, did you say. Let what the, exactly did you say? The all right, I'll say it. Uh, you want me to say it? No, I mean, it's in fucking. <laughs> I'll try it's it. in print. Right. No, I don't okay. care <laughs> now. Uh, the quote was, and it was funny because she called me on the train while I was on my way to a show. Oh. And, and she, she was like, Have you seen anything? And I was like, No, what's going on? And it's a she. And it was, uh, she was like, Did you say let the fucking chinks live there? And I was like, <laughs> I was like, no. Yeah. I was like, no, for real. I was like, and I you probably never... didn't even remember saying. I didn't remember saying, right. but I was also like, no, I wouldn't say that. Yeah. And she was like, and first of all, it's out of did. context, probably too, right? It was. So then I, li- I like, I was of like, course all right, it is. well, let me hear the clip because I would never just say that. Yeah. I, I don't. Of course you would. I'm never just talking. Which is the like, other point. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I listened to the clip, and it was my friend was talking about. We were just. I had gone to Chinatown for lunch that day. Right. We we're talking about how it's fucking nuts down there. <laughs> oh yeah. And it is. And yeah, I mean, it was the day at, there were fucking firework wrappers all over, like everywhere. Right. There was that. It was a celebration. <laughs> I don't know New what's Year. going on. And uh, we were just talking about. It, and then my friend was making fun of how angry people must have been. Back then, when they built China, like put up like a, <laughs> right, a, right, a pagoda right. in the and middle like, of the town. The, so, in other words, so so and you say, you say as a person back as then. As a person back then, there's even like a you can hear me doing an old timey accent. The quote was like, "Man, let the chinks live down there." So like you're making that. fun of someone who yeah. would say that. You yeah, were being yeah, ironic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Isn't that fucking amazing? It's wild man. Yeah, but it's so in, in, stupid. In a, in a character's voice, though. It, I guess it's, I didn't it's, do so it well you're enough. You're goofing on someone who, who would would say something racist. Who would like do that. that? And that's kind of like the whole the show is like every once in a while we'll be like Donald Trump's the fucking man, oh, dude. Yeah, we well, fucking yeah, love yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. But first like, of all, it's not it's well, not real. It, again, again, it, it just makes me fucking that make I didn't I didn't even know that part of it because yeah. again, like everybody else, I just saw what you said and I'm like, okay, well, what, what is the yeah, what yeah, is yeah. the story behind it? I mean, it's, the rest of that clip is and it's on the clip. Like nobody yeah. ever watches the whole thing, but even nobody even watches the whole clip. Right. But the rest of, of it's like, not. why would they do that? I'm like, yeah, I go down there and I say, get the fucking ducks out of these goddamn <laughs> windows. It's like, dude, I'm not serious. <laughs> yeah, of, you're a and comedian. Then, and then course. the next part, you're not is a U.S. senator. Describing me and my girlfriend at the time going to lunch, and she accidentally said, she's like, ooh, I'm going to get the neuters. <laughs> And I was like, yo, don't say that. Right. Like, for real, yeah. in the clip, I'm being like, you're, you're, don't you're be racist. You're the voice of reason. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's wild, man. Yeah, so, so I mean, it really is like, it's a, it's a complete circus now. It's a complete circus. Yeah. So, okay, so then your life gets turned upside down. So you find out this wild. news. And and so how long after the call from the agent do you get fired? Uh, I, it took like five or six days to get fired. Wow. But it was just five. So, of course, it all, was the, fucking all, all nuts. the geniuses meet. What happens is all the geniuses yeah. meet at NBC, the marketing people, H&R. And, I, I, and of course, of course, Lauren, here's the thing. I, I, I did a movie with Norm MacDonald, Dirty Work, right before he got fired yeah. for, as the Weekend Update guy. Yeah. And, you know, when, when it was happening, there was all these things. I was talking about OJ too much. There's, there's, blah, 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 blah. It's such all this bullshit. And 
And and back then I even knew it. And looking back on it now, what happened with you is is similar. There's I'm telling you, people like Lauren Michaels, and I've met Lauren. And look, the guy is the guy created the single most influential comedy show of all time. Yeah, uh, you know, and uh, it, c- clearly a, a powerful guy and uh, a creative guy, a guy who was once known as being edgy. I mean, the N word is an early SNL sketch. Oh yeah, so, yeah you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. And it, again, it's being it's it's being what you were being. Yeah, it's it's, it's it, in a in a joking context. And it actually brings them a message across of an anti-racist message. And you can get into all that, whatever. But, you know, ultimately, Lauren could have saved your fucking job. And, 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 and he doesn't do it because, again, every once in a while, and I work for a guy that's like this too. Howard is another brilliant guy, Howard Stern. Every once in a while, they'll throw a bone to the people because, because yeah. you know, Lauren can't stand that. Lauren doesn't think you're a racist. No. Lauren knows you're a funny guy. Lauren knows you probably deserve the job. But he's like, you know, I'm gonna let this. I'm gonna let this happen because you know, it just it just makes us look good. And he's great at knowing the climate of the world, like yeah. pop culture, the way. And and that's the way it's blowing now. And that's I what. Think he was. And you were kind of like a sacrificial yeah, lamb. I mean, yeah, that's yeah. my opinion. I think he. Yeah. I mean, for sure. In the end, I was. I think he was trying to fight to get me on the show. Right. From- but there's no fight with him. He's the kind of guy. It ends with Lorne, man. And and, yeah. and and when Norm came on and said, uh, you know, he came on with Howard and uh, said, uh, you know, hey, man, uh, I'll never forget Howard saying this. And now I understand them because uh, Howard knew the deal. He's like, you know, NBC just said, Lorne, you can't goes, and, and Howard's like, no, no, no. Lorne, Lorne could have saved your job. It, it's it, I, I want you to take some solace in knowing that Lorne Michaels and, and a lot of people don't think you're a bad person, yeah. you know? And I mean, like, did, did, I, did you ever have a direct contact with Lauren about it? Like, yeah, or, yeah, yeah. He called met, you. Yeah, I met with Lauren a bunch that whole week. Uh, about the issue. Yeah, entirely. And what did, how was, how at the end, how was he? Was I like, mean. We can't help you. <laughs> he was like, I'm trying, he, he was, you know, he was saying he was trying to get me on the show. And he was like, if we get you to week one, at the desk, right on camera, will be fine. Like once everybody sees you and hears yes, you talk, yes, it'll be fine because they'll just see you. Just tell the fucking story the way you told. It. Yeah. Did you ever? Did you have a conversation with him? I mean, forget the agents and stuff like that. But did you and Lauren talk the way me and you just talked? Oh yeah. For and sure. you say, look, this is how I said it. This is why I said yeah, it. Yeah, of course. And and how does he react to that? I mean, he was like, I know, I know, I know. I, right. The whole time, he and was I like, believe I know. that. Yeah. He's telling the truth. Yeah. yeah. I I really. I mean, I've never been mad at anybody for the whole thing. Like, I really didn't give a fuck. No, okay. I, well, but, like, but, I mean, but okay, but is that is that honest? It's, yeah, a, it's a gig like, on honestly, SNL. On it, no, I wanted the fucking thing, yeah, of course. And yeah. every once in a while, like, before I go to bed or something, I'll be like, oh, <laughs> fuck, I could have had that. I mean, it's, yeah, it's my, you know. Like, I'll be in the shower or something, because it, it never happened. There are 50, I can, I can, so I, it's, yeah, I mean, you know, yeah. So right. it's like, every once in a while, I'll be, like, in the shower or something, or driving and be like, god damn, I can't believe that happened. <laughs> I could have had SNL, right. that's crazy. But like it sort of is like a fucking dream. Like the, the, what, what, it really the, is. That's that's like that's a week and that's a that's an interesting week. Yeah, I mean it's every anybody. day. It's every day. I was yeah. on, I was some fucking Vox article today. Ran a picture of me and like oh. Jussie Smollett and R. Kelly on the cover. Yeah, it's fucking nuts. But yeah, uh, yeah I, it seemed like he wanted me on the show. Right. It seems like he, he but. You know, I don't know how this show. I'm new to this. I just I've been in New York for in one the year. End, how old are oh, you? I'm 32 now. You're 32. Okay. 32 yeah. Yeah. So I mean, I mean, listen, it, it's again. I think at the end of the day, it's Lauren's call. He could say, "Look, fuck you. I'm I'm putting him on camera." But but I also think at this point in his life, he's like, I mean, because he was the guy back in the 70s that was that guy saying he's he's doing what we're we're doing right now. Like like no fuck you. I'm doing what I want to do, yeah. and that's the rock and roll aspect of the show and that's like the spirit comedy should be and look it's funny you say that i mean getting on snl now is not what it used to be i mean just just some comfort to you it's, there's 50 people on it i can name two i love michael che yeah, yeah you yeah. know i i love michael a lot i know him personally and as a, as a performer but it's like it's the fact that you can get over this means it's not what it was because i'm telling you 20 years ago this i mean yeah. i give you credit but it, when you wake up every day, it it doesn't fuck with you anymore. No, I mean I think about it a lot, yeah. but it's not like it was ever like I I was never mad. At I, I'm way more mad for you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I mean, the kid who wrote it, the kid who wrote the article. Did that you got have me, any contact with him? I've never talked to him, but like I also don't like. I'm not like 
I mean, yeah, he's like a dork, but I'm not like I'm not trying to fucking beat him up well, or well, something. Of like, course I don't, not. No, I'm not saying that. Like, it's, just, just, it's just it's just like what was his agenda to get you fired? You think? Yeah, definitely. But his agenda is what, like, is it's social justice type shit. It's yeah. like that's the culture, and I knew that that was the climate I was in. So when it came out, when the clip came out, I was like, oh, I'm fu-. like I'd be talking to Lauren like, oh, I'm definitely gonna get fired. He'd be right. Like, no, we're gonna try to well, work. Well, did it. you think that when the deep dive was going on? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Which, <laughs> which brings us to our, our, my next point. I'm so glad you brought this up. You seem like an insanely smart guy, funny You're as a nice hell. guy, too. Thanks, yeah, but, but I mean, like, you know, again, it, it, it just pisses me off. Uh, and I'm sure you're going to have a fine career. You, you know, it, ironically enough, it'll, this is, you know, whatever. Yeah. Uh, you're sitting here with me and Mike. It's a dream come true. <laughs> but um, but uh, so you, you, you we, we talked about the Howard Stern show just yeah. b- before we got on the air. We were talking about Daniel Carver and the roast. Yeah, I mean, man. there is shit. The fact that I am not in jail, I mean, I was in jail for other things, but uh, <laughs> th- for some of the, I mean, if you took any 10 second clip from the 10 years I was on the Howard Stern show, it makes what you said look like something at a fucking prayer meeting. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, <laughs> well, that kind of that might have been where, I, like, because I, I watched Owen or Howard Stern, O and A, all right. that stuff going. So that's you know that's the type of comedy I've always liked. Absolutely. I like Patrice and Louis and fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. Burr and all these guys, and then. I thought the Daniel Carver clips were fucking hilarious. Yeah, I mean, we had oh, an yeah. actual clip for I mean, your younger crazy. people there. We had an actual clan guy. There was a character on the Howard Stern show. We roasted him once YouTube. in his clan. His YouTube clan. <laughs> Daniel Carver. Was, just... he, was he scary to us? So I mean, he was just a guy like... to laugh at. He was so, exactly. he was such a caricature that we laughed. I mean, again, but there, and there were some people who didn't get it. Like, in <laughs> other words, like, you know, the word, it sounds like the, 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 this kid is, is acting like someone who watched Well in the Family and didn't realize Norman Lear was like an insane liberal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I, it's yeah. just, uh, and the other thing it does is, the other thing it does is, now look, I've never had any mainstream success in my life either, but certainly Howard has, and he does a lot of revisionist history. But, uh, you know, I, I, I'm certainly not, uh, like, I don't feel canceled in any way. I still make no. a good living. I'm yeah. in show business. Uh, at one point, I was on the Anthony Cumia show and on Crashing, produced by Judd Apatow. I was on both ends. <laughs> yeah. I was literally on both ends. So there's there's a place. I think ultimately this is going to help you because I think people are going to realize how ridiculous it I is. I know. Yeah. I you mean, know. anytime something like, like, again, like CNN had a headline that was, like, the cover art for this article was, me, Michael Jackson, and R. Kelly. <laughs> well, and it's like, it's enough that's that... Un- yeah, it was great. It was great yeah, for uh, me, because uh, everybody's looking at this like, wait, the guy who made a joke on a podcast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Versus They're a guy who fucked you. kids? That I know, is unreal. It's yeah, fucking so insane. I, it is a little crazy. And the fact that comedians are getting held to the standard where, like... It's like a witch I, hunt. I, I have to make statements. And there's, there's something else, There's something else too, and, and Louis was always a proponent of this, and uh, about about this, this politically correct, woke, whatever the fuck you want to call it, generation. <laughs> Cancel culture. What happens is, like, the great thing about your tweet, I reacted to this deep dive thing, was, like, look, you're going to find shit out there, I said. Yeah. It's going to make people not want to take a risk as a comic. Like, the only way yeah. to get better is to fail. The only way to of get course. better is to find it. You gotta, and, and the edgier, the better. Like, I, I would love, I, a comedian should be somebody that someone, some guy who works at an insurance company who's not allowed, they check his emails and they say one bad thing about a broad, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. he's right done. On. A comedian should be a guy you go see and you're like, wow, he could say that shit. I yeah. mean, he could get away with at least trying to say or that like shit. Like Sam Kennison. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, the, that was the other. Like, I mean, I felt kind of corny for saying, like, I push boundaries because that, well, I mean, that, well, that was a little uh, corny, but whatever. I mean, it's, but you got to, you defending yourself. I was in, I, the pressure I was under to write yes. that fucking tweet was yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I literally got, a, I had, t- I have no problem with that. <laughs> I had 10 minutes to write that fucking yeah, yeah, I got yeah. a phone call from Lauren because NBC was saying, you need to apologize. And I was saying I'm not going to apologize. Good for you. I was like, I just can't because it they're, they're going to find something fucking tomorrow. Right. Well, that's the other thing. That's me. If you do, you know, that's give that's giving into a terrorist. Yeah. That's doing business really with a terrorist. It really is. Because and that they're terrorizing you. You're going to go fight. You apologize for this. Now look what you fucking yeah. said. And they were like, the, Joe jerk off the poets fucking on his computer. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Well, I got a bunch of other things. Yeah. <laughs> Joe jerk off. The <laughs> Yeah, I'm just hungry for people all day yeah. long. He, well, he's wrong. usually he usually spends he used to spend his time going after Michael Che. Do you think? Oh, bro, really? Bro. He goes after SNL nonstop. Chase so he's guy, obsessed with right? yeah. him too. Whoa. He's probably yeah. a frustrated. Well, it's comic. interesting to see. What some... the fuck is Michael Che doing? It's I know. Uh, yeah, it's Chase. It's... Could get... What does he do? It's fun to see some kid well, that, you know, some liberal kid that went to, like, Columbia or Penn or some shit talking shit on Che, who's from the fucking project. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Like, he's some a, first liberal kid trying to bring down a black dude. From this the, it's kid, crazy. Yeah. He, I mean, but that that's the thing. It's, 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 a, it's a real anger that's dangerous. 
It's it's terrorism. It's a real anger that's dangerous, and it's ruining. Yeah, but it's selective, though, Shane, because you know why they go after certain people, like like certain people in Hollywood. Well, this kid actually, I give him credit; he's going after everybody. No, no, yeah, he sounds yeah, like he sounds like a fucking kid who's probably a frustrated comic, and is probably there's yeah. jealousy going on. There's so many like psychological things that going on with somebody like that to me.